Hey, welcome back everybody. How are we doing? As always, appreciate you being here. So in the last video, we brought out the new demo and used it for the first time. You guys seen that, or hopefully you've seen that. Hopefully you were here. Uh, Evan is outside tonight. It has finally cooled off a little bit here. He's gonna split on this oak. And as you've seen there in the opening rolls, we talked about having to dump the oak walnut and ash uh, i think there was some elm in there too out of the dump trailer that i got from the farm because we had a tree service score so you seen there me going around that there in the pre-roll this is the tree service score now i never did make it over there and the gentleman brought it to me so guys this is the difference between this tree service and the last one, when you seen that guy with the big equipment bring all those logs and lay them out for me. Now, I'm not one to complain. Free is free, but there is a difference. Um, let me go, guys, let me know what you think about this. This is all ash. A lot of it is small, but uh, it's all cut to however that gentleman could load it. He does work by himself and he throws everything on a trailer. And I cannot complain. It was delivered to me. I had no effort in it so far. The only thing I'm going to do now is got the 261 sitting there. And while Evan is splitting some oak, I'm going to start bucking this ash up. But a uh, little bit different. This kind of tree service from a gentleman working by himself or a bigger tree service. A bigger tree service would probably chip every bit of that. I think the the biggest stuff in there, maybe nine inches. They would chip every bit of that, but uh, I'm happy to have it. I already got my mind made up about it, but let me know what you guys think. Do you like this kind of tree service? I mean, it's all manageable. The logs are definitely easier, but when you get logs, you get pieces like that. A lot of splits, a little bit heavier. So if you're working by yourself, this kind of stuff, not too bad. So. Let me get uh, get to work, get suited up, and uh, we'll bring you a little bit of footage of me cutting and maybe a little bit of Evan over there. Uh, still getting used to the 28 Pro, so here we go.
Well, as you can see, everybody, change of wardrobe and a change of the sky color. It is actually about five days later from when you last seen Evan stacking the oak that he split in the wood yard. Uh, we lost daylight that night and uh, just decided that that was enough for the day. A little bit every day, right? But uh, let me flip around. After I left, the wife and I were actually on vacation the rest of that week. And we actually took a trip north. So that's the uh, reason I'm closing this video out here today. Uh, we took a trip north up to the Milwaukee area to visit her sister. And uh, took a little field trip while I was up there and went and visited another wood yard. So stay tuned for that in the next video. But let me show you what Evan got done and uh, get some closure on this video. As you can see, there's where the tree service wood was. I cut quite a bit of it up that evening till we ran out of light and Evan finished it up while I was gone. So uh, you could see all the ash and then it turns into the maple that I brought home from the farm. And then there's a whole bunch more ash that you guys seen me chucking over there. So, uh, I told you in the beginning of this video, I made up my mind already, but uh, it's worth it, guys. Even though that gentleman works by himself, I mean, look at this nice pile of ash. That's probably going to wind up being, with this here and that over there, probably half a cord. Uh, just guessing. But uh, so happy to have the connection now with a couple tree services that I've got the connection with. Different operations, different situations. So, yes, to me, it's worth it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. Because a lot of that was small, and I will admit, Evan had a few nice campfires while we were gone. He said he burnt up all that stuff as big as your arm. By the way, poison ivy, again. Uh, that's what I deal with when I go to these uh, tree removal jobs. That's where I got that. But, yeah, guys, I appreciate you being here. And like I said, let me know. When you first initially seen that pile, it was a little deceiving. Didn't look like much, but we're going to wind up with quite a bit of ash out of that. So to me, it's worth it. Yeah, it's nice when the bigger tree company delivers logs that look like that and uses their boom truck and lays them out. But I'm telling you what, when you're working by yourself, this kind of wood right here is great to have. Very manageable. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. 28 pro is getting ready to come over here and we're going to get some splitting done today may not bring you all along for that one um it's going to be a little windy it's already starting to pick up out here so i'm going to spare you guys all that audio noise but i appreciate you being here and look forward for the little road trip i took and the wood yard i visit so hope you guys catch that one but until next time like always get outside we'll see you Thank you.